Welcome, these are grammar lessons for year three and four children and this is week six, lesson four. The learning objective for this lesson is to proofread and edit your writing. So by the end of this lesson, you will have had the chance to spot obvious mistakes in your writing, to correct these mistakes and to find other ways to improve your writing. Now I've included this list of features that we've been looking at so far this week. This is just a reminder for you so that when you're looking at your writing, you can make sure you have each of these things in your letter. Um, you may want to pause the video so that you can have a proper look as you're checking through your writing. I've also included an editing checklist. As well as the features, these are the really important things that I want you to look for when you check your writing in a moment. Let's go through the list together. So first of all, I want you to check that you have included all the features of an informal letter. So you'll need to look back at the last list for those features. Secondly, I want you to make sure that you have written in paragraphs and hopefully you will have grouped together similar information in each of those paragraphs. Thirdly, I want you to check that all your spellings are correct. I want you to check that you have punctuated all your sentences correctly. I want you to make sure that there are no missing words and that all your sentences make sense. And finally, I want you to make sure that you have used neat, joined handwriting. You may need to pause the video so that you can have this list in front of you as you go through your writing in a moment. I've also put in here the edited letter that I wrote. Um, so I will read that through to you now. Dear Year 3 and 4, how are you? I hope you are all well. I can't believe that it is nearly two months since we were last in school together. In some ways that time has gone really quickly, but in other ways it seems like such a long time ago that everything was normal. I thought I would have lots of spare time, but what with schoolwork and looking after my family, I have been busier than ever. We have managed to fit in some fun though. Last weekend, when it was sunny, we went on a family bike ride which my boys love and we were really pleased because we found a new place to explore, somewhere really deserted so the boys could run around and play without worrying about bumping into anyone. We also had a barbecue on VE Day, which was delicious. Have you done anything fun with your families recently? I also had a go at baking bread yesterday, which was a disaster, as I forgot about it and ended up burning it. And I am also a bit worried because I have nearly run out of books to read. I need some good recommendations. Have you read any good books since we finished school? If you have, maybe you could let me know what they are. Well, I think that's about all my news. There's not much to tell you about, really. Hopefully it won't be too long before we get back to normal and get back to school. I am looking forward to seeing you all. I wonder, are you looking forward to coming back too? I hope so. Stay safe and be good. Love from Mrs. Florides. So as you can see, I've taken my original draft letter and I've done lots to improve it. I went through that editing checklist and I made sure that I'd done everything on it. And so my final letter that I've just shown you is much better than the original draft. What I'd like you to do today is to read through the first draft of your letter carefully and find any mistakes and correct them just like I did. So first of all, you need to use the editing checklist to help you. 
You can also ask a grown-up if you are stuck with anything and you're not sure how to improve it. And finally, I want you to make sure your writing is the best it possibly can be so that it's ready for writing up in best. Good luck.